We've done a lot to our store, and you'll probably go on to continue tweaking your own site. Once you make changes, it's incredibly important to test things and make sure your site still works. I've heard from plenty of store owners that tested something just for a second and then forgot to change it back. And then, because they forgot to change it back, they couldn't accept payment and they just thought it was a slow week. There are some services that do automated testing. Unfortunately, there aren't any that are totally automated for EDD. That means you have to test things manually. But if you take a look at this page, you can see a good list of things that you can test. But that is a lot of work. I recommend testing the home page, a product page, and the checkout anytime you change something in the back end. That way you know your store still works. So let's go back to our site. And I do recommend doing this from a logged out account. So I'm just going to copy our URL and I'm going to open an incognito window. So on a Mac, that's command shift N to open an incognito window. So this way I'm definitely logged out. Let's go ahead and find one of our product pages. We can go to news where we mention one of the products. We just released our first product. You can buy it now. That's good enough. Looks like we can still add it to our cart. Good. Check out. Let's go ahead and enter all this information. And finally, let's check out. And once you do check out, make sure you can download your files. There we go. And it looks like we're downloading our file correctly. You don't have to do all of this all of the time, but anytime you add a new product or you add a new plugin, it's worth a test. Just make sure to put your store in test mode before you check out. And then make sure to take it out of test mode when you're done so you can still accept payment from real customers.